26 holes, 26 holes, a floorball has 26 holes, that's why the show is called 26 Holes. Hello, and welcome back to 26 Holes. I'm your host, Eric Swanton. I know it's been a while since we've uh, had an episode of the show. We've been on a bit of a hiatus, uh, just adjusting to the new venue up at Downsview Park. Still don't have any footage from there, as it's not really the greatest place for it, but not here to make excuses, just to offer solutions. We're going to have a few more of these preview episodes leading into the Canada Cup, so please check back again. We'll have some more episodes for you. However, this episode is going to feature a preview of the TFL Final between the Solid Soldiers Floorball Squad and, who would have guessed it, the Carlos Bulldogs. Not even Nostradamus could have predicted that the Carlos Bulldogs would be in the final after the opening annihilation they took at the hands of the Solid Soldiers floor Floorball Squad, 18-5. However, Andrew Sanova should be canonized for the miracle he's performed on this team. He went out and added some youth in the form of Chris Postma, Alex McCall, and Brock Hare, and also convinced a few old stars to come back, such as... Joel and Can Rinnis, Gabe Getz Gadden, and Mike Hayward. And then the final piece of the puzzle was adding Lowry Wittenhovey at the import draft. I mean, this guy has brought in the coaching and tactics that have really brought this team together. Since the new year, they're 5-3, and three, with, only, with two of those losses coming in shootouts against the Vikings and the Soldiers. So you can't really argue that this team is a much different team than started the year with an 18 to 5 loss. On the other hand, the Solid Soldiers cruised through the season after that opening game, only losing to the Vikings and poor attendance. However, the team looked a little bit slower uh, in the semifinal against the IMU Blue Collars, only scoring six, six goals each game against a team that they scored double digits against every other game this season. Bids a little bit of questions on this uh, off unstoppable offense, but I'll get back to more of that a little later on in the preview. Let's do it! In this preview, we'll start from the back and work our way forward. So in goal, we have a very intriguing matchup between Derek Swanton, myself, and Mike Hayward. This one's going to be very interesting, as these two are widely regarded as the top two goaltenders in Ontario. Now I'll talk about uh, myself first. Uh, I know that I'm supposed to be impartial as a reporter and all that, but I'm not going to try to talk about myself in the third person as that's a little too lame for me and I'm not that pretentious. Anyway, uh, I think personally I've dropped off a bit this year. Um, not as much of a focal point. Our team has been so strong this year. We also have great defense, but We'll get back to that later. I uh, haven't faced a lot of shots this year. Statistically, my worst year ever in the league. So, not looking that great for me, but I still think I have a, a game or two in me to steal. So, don't count me out yet. Alright, let's move on to the Bulldogs goaltender, Michael Hayward. Hayward has been a monster since his return to the league. I mean, this guy gained a lot of confidence when he came in and saved the Canadian national floorball team from embarrassment against the U.S. this spring. Uh, he really played huge for Team Canada. I mean, the guy's big, he's athletic, he's fast. It's hard to say that uh, he's not the best goalie in the province, or maybe even the country right now, as he showed in that game anyway. Um... This guy's a monster, but he has shown slight weaknesses in his mental game, and maybe some have questioned his toughness, maybe, would be the word. But uh, to be honest, in this one, I really, really have to give the edge to the Bulldogs. I mean, even if Hayward's not there, their backup has really shown that he can play. Sonova can get in there when he needs to. Not the greatest goalie, but he's got heart when he goes in, so... Got to give the slight edge to the Bulldogs here. Hayward's been a monster, and uh, I look for him to continue. And if he doesn't, then the Bulldogs are going to be in a whole lot of trouble when the Soldiers bring their offense. 
All right, on to the defense. Uh, Bulldogs feature Lowry Witt and Hobie on D. He's really come in and solidified this defense that uh, without him would definitely be quite sketchy and, to be honest, really couldn't have held up to the Vikings the way that they did. So big ups to Lowry for solidifying this D. But going past him, it looks a little sketchier from there. Uh, not because players aren't talented, but mostly because they're inexperienced. I mean, we have uh, Derek Gagnon and Brock Hare back there, who by all means are getting better every game and really are the stars of the future. They're just not quite there yet. Don't know if they'll be able to handle the pressure in the, in the finals, especially with the potent offense of the Soldiers. So going to have to leave that one a little bit sketchy and uh, move on to the Soldiers' D. On defense for the Soldiers, we have a core that probably is the best in the country. I mean, arguably the best three defensemen in the province in Pat Root, Dan McKean, and Scott Wilson. These guys consistently win one-on-one -on -one battles. They're almost impossible to score against down low, and every one of these guys can move the ball going forward and get in the offense. Dan McKean had a huge semifinal, really, really actually pushed the offense for the Solid Soldiers, at least in the third game, deciding game, had the first two goals, sealed up the hat trick a bit later on. So, I mean, this defense for the Solid Soldiers is really, really where their strength lies. These guys are solid. Throw Andrew Riolo in there, and you don't really have a drop off. So, Got to give the advantage here to the Solid Soldiers, hands down. I mean, outside of Lowry, Witt, and Hovey, the Bulldogs have nobody else that can compare to these three guys, four guys, really. Um, so, got to give the advantage to the Soldiers here. So, it looks like it's even goaltending going to the Bulldogs, D to the Solid Soldiers. So, let's get to the offense.